Hi, my name is Tommy Kelly. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today what I want to touch upon is my time that I worked in a slaughterhouse. I worked there for about two and a half, three years. I'd actually made a video of this before and I actually got taken down for some reason it was lost. So I want to touch upon all this and go back into everything that went on in there and let you know about the cruelty that happens in the, the meat industry. So basically I was a meat packer for two years. Basically my day would start off with, in the morning I would, you would get a white outfit, hairnet, wellies and obviously rubber gloves so if any contamination such as faecal matter or blood pus would obviously show. First thing the cows would be hosed down to slaughter and then you, you would hear them screaming things like that, it was absolutely terrible, I mean you could clearly see the distress in their faces and I actually said to the gaffers and things like that, I said, these animals are in graphic pain. I said, you can see it. And he just went, turned around to me and he says, hey, you're getting fucking paid to do a job. But he says, do it. He says, they're dumb animals. He says, we're meat eaters. He says, they're here to serve us. Get it done. Harden up. Which, you know, harden up. That, how does that happen? So guys, as well, like I said, they would... Uh, Things would be sent back from the shops like Safeway and Tesco's and things like that and we were basically told to cut off the, the bad bits and send them out. Cysts, growths, all kinds of things. And we were just, what we were told to do was to take off the labels, repackage them, send them through the cryovac vacuum packing machine, which is a big vacuum packing machine which seals all the, the, the packages of the meat. And we were told to put them through it and redate them as a new date. So there you go, that this is the kind of things that they were doing. And we were told that if we spoke about any of this outside, that we'd be, we'd be basically taken to court and things like that, and we'd, we'd be pursued as for, for doing this. And I, I think a lot of that as well, when you, when you used to go out the gates at night after your work, and obviously there was security guards at the outside, they would constantly search you up and down to make sure you didn't have anything. That was basically for evidence about anything that was going on, the cruelty, the things like that, that like I say, redating redate the packages and the meat and things like that. Also as well, every day you had to wash yourself three and four times a day even when you got home. The stench, the, the blood and things like that would just soak through your overalls and into your clothes underneath and, and it stayed with you constantly through the week. It just made you sick to the pit of your stomach. You were you were carrying about basically death with you really. It was, it was horrendous, it really really is. Like I say, the cruelty in there is really, really terrible. They, they kick the animals, they lash out at them, they make fool of them before they kill them. and It's really, it's barbaric and it's something that you, you just can't imagine until you actually are in that environment. So like I say guys, it's a really, really terrible thing and it's just something that we need to try and speak out for the animals about and do it all the best we can. But I say that it was obvious and and it chilled me to the bone as you can well guess and you could clearly see that they, they knew they were going to be slaughtered one day one of the cows got loose and it was running about in a, the, this, the meat packing hall and it actually got out into the main town and onto the railway line and it actually the, the police and things got called and you could clearly see it was distressed and it was it was basically like anything could you imagine being locked up somewhere and going to be end up being killed you would be desperate to go out yourself and People were running about, and it was, it was, oh, it was horrific to see it. the poor big animal. It was it really disgusted me to say the least, and it was just you think to yourself, you're you're just treated as a bit of meat, and that's basically what they are treated as. And they're animals, they're big beautiful beings, and it was just absolutely disgusting. So basically, the way they they kill them is, and I know this is very graphic. They stun them in the back of the head, and then obviously they slit their throat, as you can well guess, and then it's hung hung up to bleed dry. And obviously halal meat, this process, they supposedly don't feel it and things like that as well. Then obviously they, what happens then is they, they, get, they get skinned, glands and the kidneys and the offal such as the tongue, heart, liver and so on are removed. And even 
disgusting as this is, they even scrape, scrape the, the anal passage. When this is done, obviously, the cow is just a carcass without head and legs and anal passage is scraped for that's obviously for signs of disease and things like that. Like I say, seeing the, the heads and things and huge big beings, it just struck me how evil we are and how cruelty we are in this, and inflicting these poor animals. It just, it just disgusts me actually one day that I remember there was a new boy that had actually started and a lot of these people knew that he was actually, he was scared of eating meat and things and obviously the sight of blood and what had happened to the animals and that. The boy was a vegetarian and he'd been sent to work in there as part of his uh, social security money. So one of the guys uh, totally out of his head in drugs I and mean, he used to get in there every morning, he'd be working in the killing hole, this guy that, was, that I'm telling you about. And he actually got a tongue and two eyes and he turned around to the boy and he tapped him on the shoulder and he went, Oh, I'm watching you! I mean, how sick! To treat an animal that's just died like that and as if it's just some kind of theatre production part for a, a set, you know what I mean? As if it's some prop. It's, oh, it's they're disgusting. It, just how low life you are, us people that can do this. It just really makes me sick to the, the teeth. Obviously as well, meat was sent back with cysts on it and we were told to obviously just cut them off and redate them and send them back to back out to the shops, such as Safeway and things like that. They would come in with big green bits of cysts and things and you were even bits that had dropped on the floor and things like that that were covered in salt obviously because the floors are all salty to obviously soak up the blood. You were just told to wipe it off and re-bag it and send it out. Also as well, there was, there was a, basically the, the kind of process, they had a re -de real detail where the inspectors would ticket all the, the types of carcasses that you have to cut the parts away from that are diseased, such as pleurisy, even cancerous glands and things that they had and on the lungs and, and some were even carrying young fetuses, which I remember, I remember walking past and within 10 minutes of the kill, the, all these bodies were still warm and there was dead carcasses lying at the, the, the bottom, a wee fetus and things, it was, oh, it just really, it really hit home how evil we are and how dis disruptive and that this kind of industry is. At the end of the day, the meat industry is only supply and demand, if we keep su putting out the demand for it, they're going to keep supplying. The animals can't speak, the, the, we've got to be the voice for the voiceless. On YouTube and things like that, we are a big voice, we can speak out for the animals. They can't do it for themselves. The, the meat industry and things like that are trying to shut us up, but they know they can't, they can't do it on here. We've got a voice, everybody can be heard, so please share it. And like I say, they would be lined up in two lines and electrocuted and then they would tremble and convulse in their whole body and within five seconds their head and everything was off and then they were obviously skinned and things. I don't know actually what happened with the skins after that. I think they were sent to different countries for they were used for rugs and all kinds of things and even there was used to be like big massive vats absolutely full of blood and things like that. You would actually see some idiots pushing young boys into it that were scared of the blood and things like that. And like I say, it's just absolutely evil. I, I used to remember when you were checking in in the morning, coming in at the gates, and you used to see the lorries coming in. They were all battering about and all kinds of things, and they were they were crying at the top of their voices. You, you, you knew, and I could see that you could actually see the tears in their eyes. It's crazy to say that, but it's very, very true. And I just felt sick to the pit of my stomach. And, at that time I was a young boy and I didn't even know any better but I knew what was going on and I felt it and I, I really just wanted to help them as much as I can but you're, you're blind to it all, you, you, you see all these things in the media that you need protein and things like that, you keep eating meat and that and you think you're helping them in things but by combating people that keep saying these things about them and you're saying oh you need to help them and you need to help them and telling the gaffers this that and the next thing that what they're doing is cruelty but at the end of the day you're still eating the meat so you, you what can you do? You aren't contributing any better to it. You're really making the matter worse. Obviously as well, the, another thing that they would, they would have all the bones in a big skip and things like that, which I don't know what happened to them. I think they just went to the shops and things like the butchers and things like that. 
one of my jobs in the morning was a big awful rack which had all the hearts, the tongues, the kidneys, uh, the liver and things like that. And it's all just racked up as if it's something out of a William Wallace movie but it's, it's like trophies and things. It's, it's absolutely disgusting guys and I just can't tell you how much you, this industry is. There's a lot of things going on in there that you would never believe and it's, the, the cruelty to the animals is unbelievable. Them getting kicked, them, them, one of the guys that was doing the stunning, he, he walked up to the cow and he's like, ah, he says, you're going to fucking die, you're going to fucking die, ha 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 ha, you're going to fucking die, look in my eyes, you're going to fucking die, and then he shot it. I'm saying, oh, you know what I mean? What kind of sick individual gets out of these kicks out of things? Just to let you know, this is a wee statistic. 2,592,200 are slaughtered today alone. Can you believe that? Just in one day. The average meat, meat eater eats 7,000 animals in a lifetime. So there you go. If you can go vegan, you're saving at least 7,000 animals in your lifetime. Just imagine that. Also as well, switching to a vegan diet reduces carbon emissions by 50%. You're obviously as well, you're helping all the things like the rainforests and things like that. Obviously as well, it doesn't just stop at that. You think all the products we use in our house, Dove, Head, L'Oreal, Shoulders, Avon, John and, John and Johnson, Aquafresh, they're all using exploiting animals and things like that. It's just right through it and it's really, really it's sickening guys to see the kind of things it was. But like I say, if you'd like any more of this, I'd like to cover it because this is just a wee update and the kind of things that went on and there's more and more you, you, you would just would never believe. It was absolutely terrible and we as vegans and even non-vegans, we've got to realise just how cruel this world is. It's, being a vegan is not about just compassion for the animals, it's about compassion for a fellow man as well. But we, we tend to kind of look away from these kind of things quite a bit and... We think that, oh, we shouldn't put out the word about what happens to the animals and things about fear about put, putting up people off. But at the end of the day, we've got to let them know that how this is a cruel, barbaric industry. And just hopefully people will get the word and they start to go vegan and things like that. Even a few days a week if you can go vegan, every little bit's helping them, the animals and the planet and obviously your health. Remember guys, binge on life, purge negativity and stuff. And remember guys, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.